little bit of a mess. And some little branches. It was a great place to stay the night, very peaceful. I enjoyed watching the how much the tide changed. I'm gonna get to drive through a covered bridge. Oh no, I don't get to. It's closed. I'll get a picture of it. I was gonna walk through the grass so I get a picture of the covered bridge, but down there's a snake. Oh, he's, he's alive. Now I think I'm going backwards. <laughs> we'll enjoy the covered bridge from this angle instead of from the side. Sawmill Creek Bridge, 1905. Oh, that's nice. Can't read that. Mm. I'm at Hopewell Rocks. It's low tide, so I'm gonna walk out on the ocean floor and then walk out to a nice geologic formation, an island with an arch in it. So there is a bus that brings you down. However, I took the hiking trail instead, as have a lot of other people. Oh, it didn't take long to see the view. Ooh, the piece coming out of the rock. Weird. It's a good thing I don't mind getting muddy. But I gotta touch the water. Ah, that's muddy water. Ah, it's not even cold. Hey, ho, oh, back up. A lot of people out here. It just keeps going and going and going. The further I go, the less crowded there is. Oh, that's kind of funny. So they have a platform out here. In case you get stuck out here at low tide, you can get up out of the water and wait it out. You can definitely see how much water has gone out in low tide. Huge mud flat there. End of the trail. There's a nest up there. Not sure if it's a falcon or a hawk, but they're squealing. Feed me, feed me. Wow, it's even more crowded. I 
that's nuts. Well, that was a lot of fun out here with two or three thousand of my best friends all enjoying low tide. The Bay of Fundy is pretty dang sweet. Highest tidal change in, in the world. Now it's time up back to the interpretive center. It's a mud shrimp. Actual size is less than a quarter inch in length. 